What's up you guys, Toys just here, and I got a really rockin' fresh look for you guys. Today, we are totally gonna be checking out the brand new Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles GameStop exclusive Batman and Leonardo, and this is being put out by DC Collectibles. Good old DC Collectibles, making them Batman and all the Ninja Turtle goodies, which, i am be honest with you, I did not care for the cartoon, the animated movie. I, I still haven't read the comic book. I hear the comic book is much better the cartoon was just meh to me. It was okay. But when you give me really cool looking action figures, well then that's a whole different other story and maybe I'll go back once I kind of pop these out, play with them a little bit, display them up. You know, never know. Maybe maybe the cartoon will seem just that much better. Who knows? On the side of the box, I want to give a shout out to Paul Harding, who sculpted Batman, and Jonathan Matthews, who sculpted up Leonardo. On the back of the box, you get a who's who, what's what, as to why Batman is meeting up with the Ninja Turtles. Nice little bio, I appreciate that. And then the second paragraph applies more to each of the individual sets. Raphael and Robbins is different as well. And then you can see all the other two packs. So right now you have Batman and Leonardo with the Robin and Raphael that just hit September 1st. Then subsequently, we will see Batgirl and Donatello, Alfred and Michelangelo. And then the final one, December, more towards the end of the year, Ra's al Ghul and Shredder. So these are exciting. And like I said, you can only find them at GameStop, which tends to go either way. But I'm really excited to check these out. I just like how all the weapons, everything else is fitted in there. So let's get this thing open. This is the brand new Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles GameStop exclusive by DC Collectibles. And here's Batman and Leonardo out of the packaging, and it's really great just to see all the accessories that you get with these two figures. 22 of them, in fact, with a full cloth goods cape Batman, Leonardo, just, I had a lot of fun just playing with these figures for a second there, and there's some really awesome things going on. There is some wonkiness here and there, but for the most part, yeah, they actually did a pretty good cool job with these particular figures based on a rather loose like property one that's hey batman versus ninja turtles let's do a bunch of figures but you know what ninja turtles have an anniversary batman's have an anniversary so why not do it with batman as you can see you get four sets of hands you get some basically holding hands these ones are more holding his grapple kind of hands which is actually pretty nice Open hands, maybe holding the pizza slice, because he doesn't come with a lot of things to hold, but dang, does he stand really nicely. You also get this really cool batarang from the cartoon. That's awesome. Really nicely painted. Grapple gun, or let's say, you know, the, the shooter line that he has. Then he has these two little effects, say like a more closed, and the other one is open. Be very, very careful with these. It's on a really thin little peg right there, but it actually slips into the launcher. And then you can have a good old bat grapple. And then as you can see, this one also fits in there as well. But just be very careful because these will snap in a instant, just FYI. Then he also comes with a really tiny, I'm going to say, I think it was a bat bomb that was used in the cartoon. I don't remember distinctly, but it looks like a bomb. It looks like a little Batman branded bomb. A little bit of paint right there on the side orange that's painted beautifully i like that little touch and of course batman comes with a slice of pizza now one thing i would have said because leonardo also does come with a slice of pizza batman's slice of pizza should have been folded like he did at the end of the cartoon just saying but to take a closer look at this actual batman figure the head sculpt is is gorgeous on it i love a more animated sort of look when it comes to action figures and such when it's based off the property if they can match the animation style which they have expertly done i think it's absolutely fantastic i love this big cloth cape i also have the michelangelo from this particular line that was part of the sdcc rollout and just basically the same type of cape which i'll show you in just a second but it's a huge heavy massive batman cape i mean you can throw this thing over his shoulder, you could do the thing where you want to, you know, surround a bad guy, something like that. But it's massive, it's bulky, it's huge, and I absolutely love it. It's something that Batman should always have for a cape. As far as the paint goes on the figure, you can see it's a nicely painted bat symbol right there on the chest. Nice bat belt, that's actually really cool. Very indicative of Batman, the animated series almost. Goes all the way around, as you can see. I really like that. I like the muted blues. I'm glad this Batman is more in the blue color. You don't see enough... 
blue Batman. And as I'm getting older, I'm starting to like the blue and gray Batman better than the traditional black. You know what I mean? It's just, there's something about it. My style of Batman changes every once in a while, but this is a really gorgeous looking figure. And he's accented with these black lines that really give it that animated look. So I think in that sense, they definitely, definitely achieved that. And overall, I really love the face sculpt on a very animated. He has articulation in the head. It's going to go back and forth. Be very careful with the ears. They, they may break on you if you falls over, something like that. They seem to be very brittle, but sharp at the same time. He doesn't really get a whole range of motion looking up or down, but he definitely does look to the side. He has a upper torso rotation and eh, for the most part he crunches he looks he gets back goes down he also has a waist swivel so that aids in it and getting him some articulated poses he's got some good articulation at the shoulders and he does have single jointed elbows right there but they do also rotate at the elbow and then he has some good wrist rotation now one thing i want to point out i've heard from a lot of people and i've been very careful with mine he tends to break at the joints when you're switching out the hands and wrists and everything. So just FYI, be careful, go slow, don't force anything. As far as the articulation in the legs, he kicks out. This is a little bit of a rubbery material right there, so it kind of aids in kicking out, kicking back, kick to the side. He does have double jointed knees. Some of these are pretty stuck. On Leonardo, I'll show you as well. Just don't want to force any joints. And then he does have some ankle pivot up, down left right so you get some nice mobility out of it other than that i'd say it's painted beautifully great style great look i think batman knocks it out of the park now moving more into leonardo as you can see he has multiple hands just like batman came with pizza slice and his traditional katanas with the case that actually affixes to his belt and they're actually painted pretty nicely you got the nice blue that goes all the way around the wrap as you can see this little peg which will slip in to the side of his belt and you get some really nicely painted katana swords and they got a little bit of blues right there nicely painted gray yellow tends uh, well i would say nicely painted overall this is a little bit sloppy here and there this one is a little bit painted better i would just say overall be very careful with these these seem very brittle and much like the palisades toys of the past or with invader zim that i've shown you guys these seem to be within the same vein they're they're almost artistic toys in the sense of you don't want to throw these things around they're gonna they're mainly for display so just be careful but they do slide in really nice to the actual sheath the one thing on mine I will point out, it's a little bit split down the side. As you can see, it's kind of moving out there a little bit. I'm going to have to take some glue or something just to kind of get it back on there and keep it secure. But yeah, these fit in really, really nicely. There is a one way in, one way out sort of situation. So just put a little bit of pressure and you'll, you'll figure it out. It tends to... <laughs> There we go. That works. So Leonardo comes with three sets of hands, and these are more like the karate chop you're right on the back of the head kind of thing. And they're really sculpted nice. I actually like these nice little chunky turtle hands he's got going on. These are these are actually the ones he comes packaged with. These are a fisted punching hand sort of deal. And I like that right there. You can kind of see the fingernails starting up right there. That's an interesting hand. I like that. Really angular. Very, very cool. Very indicative of the art style. And just like Batman, he comes with the exact same slice of pizza. And that's painted nice. You got pepperoni, cheese, the crust. The backside is nice. I always... That's why I liked about the NECA ones. You could see the uh, the backs of the actual pizza. That was just a nice touch. As for Leonardo, spot on to the cartoon source material. They had a very angular, different take on the turtles' heads, but it was very much in that classic look. I mean, they didn't go to Michael Bay. They didn't do too much of the rise of the Team NT. It was that nice little in-between from the comics, from the original sort of look for the Ninja Turtles. But overall, yeah, this... This Leonardo is very cool. He does have some issues. Some of the joints can be loose. This leg in particular, it's not crazy loose, but it's, it wiggles around, I will say. But the paint on the green just tends to be a little bit sloppy here and there. Just some issues with the black. My Leonardo has a little bit of red marks every which way. One right there on his shoulder and the other one right here on the top of his shoulder right there. So... 
maybe, you know, some paint from Raphael was flecking off them, but just something that I pointed out on mine. The black overall, the little accents are painted nicely. The browns, the blues, everything is there. It's just in some, some areas, the green just becomes, uh, I want to say a little bit muddled or sloppy, one of those two, but it's nothing that's too jarring or that takes away, and I would say that, you know, it's flat out bad or anything like that. But something, if you're going to go through a couple of them, just something to keep in mind. I really like the bandanas that they got going on on this particular Leonardo figure. And I believe some of the other figures, the Ninja Turtle ones, do have that. They just kind of lay flat. I'm used to a lot of Ninja Turtles where the bandanas are coming off the back or they're just kind of tied. This is an interesting take on the turtle. It's very different, very long bandana. I would have loved, to be honest, you know, a head that had some crazy, maybe like bendy wire bandana thing going on. But overall, I think it's a really nice head portrait. He's got a lot of great detail going on. The belt's really nice. Right here is where you will slip in the katanas right there. The shell is painted nicely, and I think overall, these figures, I don't mind when a, when a figure looks great and has less articulation and a ton of accessories. So if you're looking for a really articulated out Ninja Turtle figure or Batman figure, these may not be for you. They have great articulation, but it's not that super articulation that I think a lot of modern collectors are looking for. But his head will rotate. He gets some nice back and forth, left and right. Doesn't really look down much. Looks up barely at all. So I would say just left and right for him. He's got some articulation at the shoulders, rotates at the elbow, single jointed. These actually stay in place right here. So that can look a little wonky. He's got some really clunky big hands, which I really like. Just Think of it as part of the art style. It, it, you know, it's a, it's a big gap, of course, but it does meld well with the big chunky arms and the hands. And I see that, yeah, that it could have been done maybe just a little bit better, but it works for me. And he's got some good hand rotation, articulation, wrist articulation. So that works. Now, he has, like, you'll see this, this spot right here where he kind of can rotate with his shell right in there. So it's almost like an underneath portion because his shell and his front part kind of drapes over, but it looks like he kind of gets some waist swivel out of that, so that's cool. He kicks out, kicks back, good articulation there. He's got double jointed knees, which again, I don't, you don't want to push too hard, but the double jointed knees is there, and he actually has some good foot articulation. So overall, I'm happy with the articulation on this Leonardo. It's not like crazy, crazy out there, but it works for me. When you want to go ahead and put his katanas right on his belt, simply just line it up, line the peg, and it just slides right in there. And it actually clicks in really nicely, and he holds it well. It will hinder the articulation just a little bit because he does have this clunky piece of equipment sitting off on the side. But it's really nice, and it's actually a pretty cool... I would say it's a different take on Leonardo just because, you know, everyone's sort of used to it being right on the back. And he holds his katana rather well. And I will just say, because these are rather brittle, just keep an eye out. If he falls over something like that, it may take them out. So you don't want anything to snap on you. And a big bummer between these two figures is that there's no peg holes on the bottom of their feet, which, yeah, that could be a big bummer in the sense of, yes, if he does fall, you don't really want him taking anything out or breaking anything. And just to show some scale with Leonardo, here he is with two of the most recent NECA turtles. You have the cartoon Leonardo and then, of course, the movie Leonardo. And this particular Batman versus the TMNT Leonardo clocks in just around the six inch mark, a little bit underneath. So he falls right between the middle of these two. And just to show some size comparisons, here is the DC Collectibles Batman with the two new Mattel DC Multiverse Nightwing and Robin figures. And actually, height wise, they actually line up pretty well. And just to show some other Batman, here's a bunch of Mattel DC Multiverse Batman, which the Build-A-Figure Collect to Connect figure is a little bit larger, but the Dick Grayson Batman and the Toy Biz Batman seem to be just right in the same scale with the new Batman vs. the TMNT Batman being around the 7-inch mark. And then, of course, you got the good old Route 4-inch Kenner Batman. And of course, one last comparison here is the Dark Knight with his worst enemy and one of his best friends. You have the Joker from the DC Multiverse and then the brand new NECA Toys Batman, Predator, Alien, Superman thingy going on, which actually, you know what? These two line up rather well and they have 
amazing cloth capes to both of them. So that's going to do it for my fresh look today at the brand new DC Collectibles GameStop exclusive Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Batman and Leonardo 2-pack. Say that all in one go. And yes, of course, this is the SDCC exclusive Michelangelo dressed as Batman figure, and he fits in really nicely with this particular Batman and Leonardo, and it's going to be the basic buck body that you'll get with the upcoming just regular Michelangelo figure that will hit in just a few months. The Batman with the, the Michelangelo Batman really got me into this series as it is. And just to kind of see Batman kind of glaring at him, like doing that whole thing, I just, that's a great photo right there. I really like that. I really feel like if you're not a stickler for articulation, if you're not looking for something that's just crazy articulated, then I really think you're going to enjoy these figures. They're very much animated. They're very much in the style of the Batman vs. the TMNT animated movie. And I really like that. I gravitate more towards figures like that. I think that this might be it, and I would be more than okay with this. I know a lot of people want these, and from what I've just been hearing, not to incite a riot or anything like that, if you do want these figures, then I would grab them when you see them, and that's just, hey, just giving you a friendly heads up. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Will you be grabbing them? Will you be adding them to your collection? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk all things Batman versus the TMNT. Did you like the movie? Did you like the comics? Do you like just these figures like I do? I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, the one mishap with this entire set is that Batman's slice of pizza is not folded. I, I just... I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. And when I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.